Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Today is Valentine's Day, and Ava and I have been struggling to find something special to do today. It's difficult when the restaurants are only offering outdoor seating. <laughs> All of the movie theaters are only playing one film called See You Soon. I've never heard of it. We could cook at home, but we do that every day anyway. So to spice things up, or should I say sweeten things up, we are gonna cook an entire five course meal with all chocolate dishes. And by we, I mean Ava, because I'm not gonna cook a thing, I'm just gonna eat it. Do you guys see the sacrifices I make for you? If that's not worth a subscription, I don't know what is. So hit the subscribe bell and let's get cooking. prepare this yesterday evening and this is my normal pizza dough so flour water salt yeast but this time i had some cocoa powder I see how it is. Squash and chocolate pizza is fine, but pineapple is just crazy. Come on, this is delicious. All together, it's perfect. The squash, the cocoa, the spicy pepper, because I use Calabria, not spicy pepper. And you know why? Why? Because in Calabria, we call our spicy pepper Viagra. Well, I'm excited to try it. I can't say I've ever had chocolate pizza, much less chocolate squash pizza, but here we go. Buon appetito. It works perfect. I knew. Yes, it does. The chocolate's really good. It works really well with the squash. Mm -hmm. That surprises me. So I take it because there's squash in this, that this is kind of more of a northern Italian dish. This is um, what we call pizza gourmet. Ooh la la. Now it's gourmet because usually, traditionally, we don't do pizza with vellutata di zucca. You don't say. We don't say what. But because they are trying to experiment, there is a version with a pumpkin. Well, it's maybe the most unusual pizza I've ever had, but it's very good. So, Alper, are you done with the antipasto? I guess so, although I feel like I could eat much more, frankly. No, you need some space because now we have the pasta. The pasta. See? With chocolate. With chocolate. We've made one chocolate pasta before, but it was a dessert. But this is not a dessert.
Wow, what do we have here? Here Harper we have uh, tagliatelle with uh, cocoa powder uh, inside the dough, then we made with cherry, cherry tomatoes, uh, a burrata on top and then some uh, pistacchio. Is it normal to do like a chocolate savory pasta like this in Italy? It's not traditional Harper, but uh, nowadays uh, lots of restaurants start to do something like that. If, if it wasn't for the fact that the chocolate squash pizza was so surprisingly good, I would be pretty skeptical of this. But hey, let's dig in. Buon appetito, Harper! <laughs> Buon appetito. First of all, the burrata is really good. <laughs> I've never know. had pasta with burrata. Uh, it's delicious. Pasta with burrata, it's... The chocolate pasta, obviously it's not sweet chocolate pasta, but that bitterness goes really well with kind of the the cheesy tartness of the of the of the burrata, of the burrata yeah this harper can be also an alternative pasta instead of just doing always the normal tagliatelle with this with the cocoa powder uh, it, it goes very well for example with the burrata it goes very well with uh, mushroom with fish so maybe our friends they can uh, experiment yeah, I wouldn't have thought that, but after having it, it's not, a, it's not a huge difference from normal pasta. It's not like a crazy flavor departure. It's a subtle difference, but it's really good. See. Especially on Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, well, we've had our antipasto, our primo. See? Now, that means it's time for the secondo. It's time for the secondo, and we are going to do a real traditional Italian recipe from uh, a long, long time ago. Here we have our second course. And this is uh, rabbit. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. I prepared the marinade uh, yesterday evening. And uh, I made the marinade with uh, some vinegar, uh, very strong red wine, um, several herbs. Uh, I put also some uh, cinnamon and I let it rest for uh, all the night in the fridge. Tell me what we're looking at here. This is uh, the rabbit. Uh -huh. And it's a traditional recipe from Sicily. And usually they do, they did this during the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. And not just in Sicily, because this kind of uh, um, sauce with chocolate is typical also from, uh, from Tuscany. And it's called Dolce Forte. When I think of Italian food, I can't say I think of chocolate rabbit. Wait a minute. See, Harper, chocolate rabbit. But you should <laughs> learn uh, that Italian food is a world full of surprise. It certainly is. I've eaten a lot of like unusual meats in my life. Everything from like moose to alligator. I can't say I've ever had rabbit actually. And I've certainly never had it in chocolate. So let's try it. Yes, please. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Oh man. I told you. That is crazy good. Cut me another bite. <laughs> I'm holding the camera so Ava's gotta cut every bite for me. Hurry, hurry. This is by far the most chocolatey dish of the day thus far. I mean, it is, it is chocolate. It is chocolate rabbit. 
and it is so, so good. What if someone is a little squeamish about eating cute bunny rabbits? Is there something else you can make this with? Okay, usually in Italy we do like beef. They can yeah. do beef with this, uh, wild boar, uh, wild rabbit. You know, if you can't find any rabbit, just use some wild boar. <laughs> But also beef, also beef works very well with the chocolate. So they can substitute the rabbit with beef. This is, this is definitely one to try. It's really, really good. So after this, we have the contorno, the side dish, right? We have the contorno. Harper, for the contorno, we are going to have a simple salad. You're going to follow up this chocolate rabbit with a salad. Eh, si. A very good salad. Ava, I think we had a major misunderstanding. Why? I said I liked eating the rabbit, not that I want to eat like a rabbit. Harper, this is an amazing salad. I'm not a big salad fan, if you haven't noticed. After you will try this, you will, you will become the biggest fan of salad. I'll give it a shot. By the way, if anyone's wondering how it got dark in the time that it took to make a salad, <laughs> welcome to winter in Maine. It's so much fun. It goes from midday to midnight in five minutes. Bon, bon appetito. appetito. Okay. Okay. Maybe you start to like also salad. That's a pretty darn good salad. I shouldn't be that surprised though. I mean, it is a chocolate salad. If a salad's gonna be good, probably the chocolate salad is the one. All right, I was skeptical of a salad contorno following up that amazing rabbit. But that was pretty good. But now your biggest challenge is here, Ava. Dessert. Dessert with chocolate? What are you, a miracle worker? So let's see what we can do with uh, a chocolate and a dessert. I don't think you're gonna pull it off this time. sure there's chocolate in here? I'm pretty sure that there is chocolate in here. I'll take your word for it. What is this? This is called Torta Caprese and as the name said it's from Capri and it's, certo. A, and it's a cake made with chocolate, dark chocolate, sugar, eggs 
and almond flour, so it is not, uh, it, it's gluten free. And this, correct me if I'm wrong, this is exactly like the sort of cream that you make for a tiramisu, right? With mascarpone? Uh, exactly. And I thought that together they can be a good couple. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. It's chocolate cake. It's an almond chocolate cake. See, but it's chocolate cake. It's good. Everyone knows chocolate cake is good. There's no surprise there. I like it with the mascarpone too. I know. That was a good chocolatey finish to a good chocolatey day. This is probably the most chocolate I've ever eaten in one day. Me not, but that's another story. <laughs> Said the person who went to the hospital for eating too much Nutella. You got some chocolate on your nose. It's the chocolate day, so I have chocolate everywhere. I guess the lesson of the day is chocolate is good. <laughs> No, but for real, I, I, there were some surprising flavor combinations in there today that I wouldn't have expected worked, uh, like squash and chocolate and burrata and chocolate, but they were great. And I hope that maybe we inspired some of you at home to try cooking with chocolate in a new way. Happy St. Valentine's Day, guys. Happy St. Valentine's Day to you. Valentino? Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up and follow us on social media at Pastagrammer. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.